sup super user dash root password verify the IP address This is my IPv4 address 235 and IPv6 address 235. For more details, network manager CLI, uh, device show the name of my device ENS33, IPv4 address, the default gateway. I'm using the DNS servers for my provider, for my ISP, Internet Service Provider, on IPv4 and on IPv6. These are the DNS servers. Later, I will use my own DNS server. It will be this server. Then install using DNF, install bind, and bind utils, dash utils. Yes, yes, complete. Now, list the, let's see directory. Let's see directory. And this is the file namet.conf configure this but before to configure create a backup for this file using the cp command let's see namet.conf let's see namet.conf.original now you are ready to modify this file I will use vim as the text editor set uh, set number to view the number of lines column set number okay first of all at beginning at the access list i key to insert you are on insert mode enter enter at a comment, this is the access list for internal network. Remember my IP address and subnet mask. My internal network is the following. Create the access list called internal-network. For example, use this semicolon uh, 182.168.1.0.24 semicolon this is my network address for IPv4 look at semicolon here and semicolon here be careful with this okay um, listen on um, port 53 and uh, look back on IPv4 so is listen to the server is listening to itself you need to change this to any to listen any host listening on IPv6 port 53 also change this to any okay uh, remove the loopback on IPv6 and add any and will be useful for the IPv6 configuration the directory is bar name it do not modify this other options and here allow query localhost is this server 
auth uh, also allow query for this access list the internal network in internal dash network semicolon don't forget semicolon now you can add this allow transfer to that semicolon and local host for now allow transfer is very useful to transfer some files to clients or dns secondary dns servers or slave dns servers will be useful later so that's why i'm using only local host don't forget semicolon here and semicolon here at the end enter you can add a comment to add the following configuration this is the forward database or direct database so uh, here add your domain name any domain name that you want to create maybe that domain name exists there but you can use any other For example, this teach emergent e.com. Space internet. Add this, enter semicolon. The type is master because this is the DNS server master the file later you will create this file at semicolon uh, and the name for the file will be can be the same name for the domain name but at uh, that lang for example enter you can add this option allow update semicolon space non semicolon okay do not permit dynamic dns no dynamic updates this is the forward database or direct database and will be used to translate the names to IP addresses. Now I create the reverse. Add a comment, for example, reverse database. And create the configuration. Song. And here at the following. My network address is this. And this is the subnet mask. Do the following. If this is 255, repeat this number. 182. If this is 255, repeat this number. 168. If this is 255, repeat this number. 1. If this is 0, do nothing and that that's it now allow the reverse the inverse of this and is the following one that 168 that 182 now this is the configuration you need to add here one that 168 that 182 that 
in dash at address that ARPA. Okay, internet at the following semicolon, don't forget semicolon, the type is master, a file, uh, create the name for this file, for example, 1.168, one maybe two, that database db can be any number can be any name but i prefer to use this and allow update semicolon non semicolon very nice this database the reverse or inverse database will be used to translate IP addresses to names. And that's it. Escape key, column, write and quit. WQ, enter. Now review the following file. For example, use Beam Editor on Etsy directory, the sysconfig. Sysconfig directory, the file called name name d name it. Enter. Now look at this option. Whatever. For example, I key to insert and you can create the option options equal. If you will use only IPv4, use dash four. If you will use uh, only IPv6, use dash 6. If you will use both IPv4 and IPv6, do not modify this file. Okay, escape key, column, WQ. I am not modifying this file because I will use both IPv4 and IPv6. Column, WQ. Enter. Now go back to nameit.conf and remember this file. The forward database, create this file. Teach emergent e.com.lam, this file. Remember my domain is teach emergent e.com. But this is the name of the file. So create the file. Escape key, column, Q. On Etsy direct uh, also remember this is the directory bar name it create that file in this directory bar name it escape column Q beam bar name D and the name of the file, touch emergent e dot com dot lang. I key to insert TTL eighty six thousand four hundred is eighty six thousand four hundred seconds one day. TTL in the DNS context defines the duration in seconds that the record may be cached by any resolver. Zero indicates the record should not be cached. Internet, start of authority, the DNS server, this DNS server. Create a name, a subdomain for this DNS server, DNS1, for example, teach emergent e.com, and one dot at the end. The administrator email, my email, teach emergent 
e.com that use this enter enter now add the number of serial the serial is only a, a serial of numbers each time you modify this file you need to change the number of the serial I will use for example the date for example 2020 February 02 23 and 01 if you will uh, later if you will change this file you need to change this serial the refresh 3600 uh, one hour the retry 30 minutes the expiration expire 604,800 seconds uh, seven days and TTR 86,400 TTR okay this is the slight refresh interval 3600 this is another slight retry interval the expiration time for the slave seven days this is the TTL enter enter internet tap the name server for example this DNS DNS1 teach emergent e.com that at the end the IP address internet address remember the IP address of this server is 192.168.1.235 also you can add the internet mail exchange server with a priority of 10 with a priority with a priority of 10 and the name of the mail server mail1 for example touch emergent e.com that at the end don't worry if mail server exists or not the important this DNS DNS one is this 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 server and down here at the names for example DNS one internet address one eighty two one sixty eight one to thirty-five. The if you are configure uh, if you are uh, establishing the mail one, also you can add an IP address for that mail. But it's optional. In my case, mail one internet address nine two one sixty eight. One, two, thirty-six, uh, two, thirty-seven, for example. And also, if you have a web server, you can add this triple w one internet address one eight two one sixty eight one two thirty-four. In my case, the IP addresses and names may vary according your configurations. Escape key, column, write and quit, WQ. 
enter back. Now create uh, enter to name it that file to remember the you need to create this file. This file escape column Q on the same directory bar name D one dot one sixty eight one one eighty two one database DB I key to insert TTL eighty six four hundred this is one day Internet start of authority, the DNS server, DNS one, the domain that at the end, uh, email address that at the end, use this, enter, enter. At the serial 2020-02-23-01. Refresh time for the slave. One hour in seconds, uh, 30 minutes for the retry. And seven days for the expiration in seconds. And the TTL one day. Now set internet name server is DNS one, the domain that at the end, don't forget that. And down here at the the names uh, uh, down here at the IP address, for example, for the DNS server. This DNS server 235 internet pointer record to this name DNS1 teach emergent e.com. That at the end, don't forget that. The mail server 237 in pointer record, mail one, the domain that at the end, and the web server 234 in pointer record, triple W1, and the domain dot com dot, and that's it. Very good. Escape key, column, WQ, enter. Now, enable the, the name D service, system CTL, enable now. Enable at boot and enable now the name the server. Very nice. Verify the status if you want. Status. It should be green, active and running. Q. Okay, now change the configuration of DNS servers on this server. Level um, manager, command line interface. Uh, device show that my my interface is ENS33. On IP before I have this DNS servers for my server provider for my for my IPS and also for IPv6. So we change these configurations to only use this server. Only use the IP address of this server. So we change that. Network, network my command line interface, connection, modify. 
DNS 33, IPv4 DNS, and use this IPv4 DNS. Use the IP address of this server 192, 168, 1235. That is enough. Also on IPv6. And use the IPv6 address of this server. Enter. Now, uh, Network Man IR CLI. Can uh, connection down ENS 33 and also up network manager command line interface connection up ENS 33 do this to apply changes enter now verify again Device show ENS 33. The DNS server on IPv4 is this. This server and for IPv6, this server. Now, but uh, you will have user, uh, you will have users making queries to this server and verify if the firewall is activated. So system CDL firewall D status status firewall D system CPL enter firewall is active and running so you need to add the DNS service to the firewall firewall CMD add service equal DNS service permanent permanent and success then reload to apply changes reload and verify with the command list all now you are permitting Services, uh, DNS server, DNS server. For example, you can use dig to verify dig uh, your domain name, teach emergent.com. You should have this IP address, the IP address of your server, DNS1, and this IP address. Very good. And also use the option X to use the IP address and option 4 to use IPv4 192.168.1.235 that one two thirty five this server this IP address. Okay, and use this um, X4 under. This is the IP address of the server on port 53. Now, you can verify use the host util, for example, host uh, DNS1 that teach emergent.com enter and has this IP address. Mail1 has this IP address triple W1 has this IP address now use host and host with the IP addresses to 35 use this name to 37 use mail one and to 34 triple W triple W 
pinged to myself dns1 teach emergency.com but use ipv4 okay for now i'm using ipv4 and very nice pink works to myself the ip the name is, tra is translated to ip if you have uh, if for example in my network i have the triple w two through the four server that is my web server i have the that server is active and running is uh, is power on so you can ping using ip before to that server success control c to stop very nice all is working very well also you can use ns lookup for example ns lookup and set the dns1 that com this is the server port 53 and this is the answer this name with this ip also triple w1 teach emergency.com this is the server the dns server port 53 and this is the ip address for this name all very nice exit Now it's, try, it's time to configure IPv6. Okay, go to the following file. Uh, use Beam to modify at C. Name it dot conf. Name D dot conf. Enter. Uh, up here, verify the following configurations. On the ACL internal network, at your IPv6 network i key to insert prefix 64 in my case semicolon don't forget that now your internal network also on ipv6 this is my ipv6 Uh, listen on port 53 for IPv4, listen on 4 on version 6 port 53 from any, very good. The directory uh, allow query from internal network and internal network access list includes the IPv4 network and IPv6 network. Now, so allow query now is working with ipv4 and ipv6 okay allow transfer um, local host local host on ipv4 and on ipv6 okay for now that is enough escape key column wq enter go to go to this file mm. um, bar name at directory the file teach emergent e.com lang this previously created file enter uh, edit with beam uh, at the ipv6 records i key to insert uh, enter uh, dns one internet uh, for ipv6 four a's one two three four 
uh, addresses and add the addresses for the IPv6 address for DNS1, the this server. Column column 235. Mail one internet IAA two thirty seven triple W one internet Two thirty four. These are the IPv6 addresses. These are the IPv6 addresses. And that is enough and very easy for the forward database or direct database for IPv6. Escape key, column WQ. Enter. Now go back to nameit.com file, let's see, directory nameit.com file, and at the end, you are adding the IPv6 records on this file, this existing file, touch emergent .com .lang. So this file, is working with IPv4 and IPv6 records. This is the reverse database for IPv4, and you will not be able to use this uh, database for IPv6. You need to create a new one. I key to insert, and at the end, add a comment, reverse, reverse database for IPv6. Enter. So you will use uh, the following configuration. Now uh, remember your verify and remember your your network address. This is my network address. Prefix 64. Column, column, prefix 64. This is the compressed and simplified version for my IPv6 address. First of all, expand this to the complete and expanded IPv6 address. Use the following uh, four hexadecimal numbers in each section. Okay, um, this is the same address, but it's not compressed, it's not simplified. It's the expanded version. Look at here, zero on left, and zeros represented by column column. You have 128 bits here but your prefix is 64, only half. If this is 128 bits, this is 64 bits, the half. If this is 64, only copy this, the half. This is uh, 16, this is 32, this is 48, this is 64, 
this is 80 and so on but if my prefix is 64 only copy the half this and use the inverse from right to left 0, 7, 6, 1, 0, C, 5, F, 0, 0, 2, 0, 0, 0, 8, 2. This is the configuration, the inverse. So place this down here. Zero, seven, six, one, zero, C, five, F, zero, zero, two, zero, 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 eight, two. That IP6, no IPv6, only IP6 ARPA. Okay, internet, use this semicolon, enter, enter, type master, master, um, file, and create a file, choose any name. You can use uh, this complicated name or any other. I would use the complicated name, but it's, we, uh, it's very easy to identify. Obviously, be careful. that db database very nice and uh, semicolon at the end don't forget that allow update semicolon and uh, sorry semicolon non semicolon Okay, do not permit dynamic DNS, dynamic updates. And very nice. Escape key, column, WQ, enter. Now create, create that file. On this directory, bar name it. Uh, remember the name zero seven six one zero C five F zero zero two zero 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 eight two that DB Enter. I get to insert TTL A6400 Internet Start Authority, the DNS server. That at the end, the email for the administrator. that at the end use this the serial 2020-02-23-01 refresh one hour the try 30 minutes expire
seven days, TTL, one day. Internet name server, DNS one. That at the end, and down here, set the IP addresses. Now, um, place here the IP address of my DNS server. My DNS server is this, this DNS server 235. Okay, this was the, the network address, but this is the host address for my DNS server, this server that I, I am configuring now. So this is the prefix 64, and this is the IPv6 address for this server. Now again, expand this to the non-compressed uh, version for this address. Uh, four hexadecimal numbers for each section. Zero to thirty-five and sixty-four prefix. This is the expanded version. The look at uh, zero on left, zero on left, and three section of zeros represented by this column. Column, very nice. Now, if this is sixty-four. This is the network portion. So copy the remaining portion. Copy down here. And use the inverse of this from right to left. Five, three, two, zero. Two, three, four, one, two, three. One, two, three, four. Okay, this is the inverse. Four, 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 and four. Very nice. So use this for this configuration. Five, three, two, zero. Very good. Top internet, top pointer record, and use the name DNS1, the domain teach emergent.e.com. That at the end. Enter uh, the same configurations for all the IP addresses. For example, uh, mail server is 237, so it will be this. Okay. Tap Internet Pointer Record Mail 1. That at the end, uh, web server is 234 and will be this. Triple W1 teach dot com dot at the end. And that's it. Very good. Escape key, column, W key. Enter. Restart the service 
system CDL start name the enter verify the status status sorry a status active and running no warnings no errors Q use D to verify the the DNS DNS one teach emergent e dot com and the, uh, but uh, for version six and the, uh, for version 6 you have this DNS on port 53 is working very well and they inverse using the IPv6 address x6 and the IP address of the IPv6 address of the DNS server column column 235 Or, or use uh, only X okay very nice these are the records but use host to verify that for example uh, use host on IPv6 enter you have this uh, IPv4 and IPv6 addresses, or only use host will give you both. Okay, IPv4 and IPv6 address for this name, or triple W one enter. You have this IPv4 and IPv6, but now use the inverse. Enter IPv6 addresses and for host, and you will have this. This is the this is the server DNS one for two thirty four. This is tri this is the server triple W. Now test with ping. DNS one. Enter. Okay, IPv six address control C to stop. This name is translated to this IPv6 address and being success. Obviously, uh, IPv6 is uh, preferred over IPv4. Or you can use ping with option 6, control C, or use ping with option 4. So this is the dual stack configuration for DNS using IPv4 and IPv6, control C to stop or ping to triple W on 4 and on 6 or simply ping no options and will IPv6 will be preferred over IPv4 control C now verify with NS lookup Use the DNS one teach emergent e dot com IPv4 and IPv6. Very nice exit. Configure this Windows client with those configurations for my. I will disable the Wi-Fi to avoid conflict and change adapter options and Wi-Fi is disabled to avoid conflict and I will only configure Ethernet adapter IPv4 set your IP address Default gateway. DNS. 
235. Yes. Okay. Very nice. Yes. IPv6. One of one, sixty four, the full gateway. Okay, in my case, is this Very good. And then a server two thirty five. Okay. On CMD verify the configuration IP config all. On my Ethernet adapter, this is the DNS server on IPv4 and IPv6, only my CentOS server. For example, ping to google.com, for example, google.com, enter. Success, because, because ping is successful because the recursion option is enabled on the server but also you can ping the dns dns1 success on ipv6 on ipv4 option 4 very nice triple w1 on ipv4 success on IPv6, success, and as look up, okay, the IPv4 and IPv6, exit, on web browser, triple W1, Success, use the IPv4 to verify. Success, use the IPv6. Success, very good. Now it's time to configure the canonical name, C name. That is an alias. This should be configured in the following file directory bar, name it, and your domain, that com, that lang, enter, I key to insert, and down here place the alias. For example, the you can use alias triple w internet canonical name and use the this name for example triple w1 triple w1 dot com dot at the end Escape key, column, WQ, reload the server, system, CDL, start, name, D. And you can uh, verify using DIC and test 
triple w teach emergent e dot com you will see this is the real name and this is the record and for example use host triple w uh, use host Okay, this host is an alias for triple W1 and triple W1 has an IPv4 and an IPv6 address. Ping, ping that host. Control C to stop. And you will see this is the, the real name. and ping success on client ping success you can see the real name and the translation Also, you can use NSLOOKUP. This is the server. This is the address of the server. This is the real name and addresses. And this is the alias. Very good. Finally, you will be able to access that alias because that is a web browser very good very nice now i will create an external network i will use the view statement to do that so i will have an internal network and also an external network and go to the following file, BIM. Let's see, name it, name it, dot conf. Up here, you have the access list, call it internal network with IPv4 and IPv6. Um, Listen for IPv4 any, for IPv6 any. A low query, a local host and internal network. Remember internal network includes IPv4 and IPv6 on my local network. A low transfer for now local host. Recursion, yes. If you are building a recursive caching DNS server, you need to enable recursion. If you are building an authoritative DNS server, do not enable recursion. Okay, do not enable recursion for the external network and enable recursion for the internal network. Okay, now here in this place, I key to insert, enter, enter. I will add a comment. This is the internal network, it's only a comment. And here create the view statement. View, and this statement is, and this view is internal. Open here. Open here. You should include the that zone, this zone. 
include the your three zones the forward direct zone the inverse zone for IPv4 inverse zone for IPv6 and also includes this these songs okay so you will include all this in the internal view so you can close the bracket here and semicolon okay opens here then close here okay but place these two lines at the end these two songs exit from insert mode press escape key press the b key b now you are on visual mode and select this press uh, d to cut and place it here here Pay, uh, p to paste i key to insert now you are on insert mode enter then i will add hierarchy very good and up here add the following match dash clients open here semicolon enter enter tab and here add the following Match clients uh, local host semicolon and the access list internal dash network local host is this server and, and internal network include the IPv4 and IPv6 local network. Now, this is the view internal, very well configured. Opens here, up here, and finish down here. Now, enter, enter, external network enter enter create a view statement for external open close semicolon enter enter and here match clients dash clients open close semicolon any semicolon space enter top um, allow query open close semicolon space any semicolon
recursion now. Like I said before. Okay. Match match clients any all except targets defined on internal section. Okay. All except clients defined on internal section. Local host and internal network. All except local host and internal network. Match any except local host and internal network. Allow query for any and recursion now. And down here, place the sons. Okay. Uh, Exit for insert mode, press the escape key, place here, uh, B for visual mode, and select this, only these three zones, uh, Y to copy, Y key, okay, 21 lines, junk it, and place it here. P to paste I key to insert the modify the these files basically the external the external view will have the same sounds but there is a difference with uh, the internal view you will uh, You will use the same domain. Obviously, teach emergent e.com in my case. The server is master, not problem. But the file should be different. Uh, for example, for example, Teach emergent e .com, and you can use no lang, use one because it's for the external network. And your update none. And remain this. Maybe the IP address will be different, but in case you are using public IP addresses, will be the same IP addresses. Type master in the file. Basically, okay, but for example, that one. Um, for IPv6, the IPv6 address is the same, um, but use a different, also a different file. That one. Okay. The songs are, are the same, but the files are different. You will see what is the difference later, but. For now, only change the names for the files. And this is the configuration for the external view, all this. Opens here, opens up here, here, up here, view external and close down here. Okay, don't forget match clients any, allow query any, recursion now very important this is for security recursion now and this uh, the songs are the same but change the name for the files now you have the internal view 
and the external view. Very well configured. Escape key column WQ. Now, list the contents for list uh, LL for bar name. You have uh, three files. Uh, the direct database uh, inverse for IPv6 and inverse for IPv4. Now I I need three more files for the external view. So enter to this uh, file and save with a different name. Okay, access that file. Use beam. Teach emergent dot com to teach emergent e dot com dot lam escape key column w and save with another name but don't forget the directory bar name and teach press tab to complete teach emergent e dot com and save with a different name teach emergent e dot com that one ready escape key column wq uh, access the another file one that press tab to complete the reverse database for ipv4 column right bar name it uh, one that that one because it's for the external view save with a different name and ready escape key column q ipv6 this is very simple don't don't worry uh, okay the reverse database for IPv6 enter column right bar name at zero dot uh, and save with that one save with a different name enter column Q list the contents Now you have three files for internal network that long, this uh, database for IPv4, this another database for IPv6. But uh, you have three more files for the external view. This uh, file that one, this another file that one, and this another file for IPv6 that one. The For example, teach emerging. Uh, for example, that lang is the same. Uh, that lang has the same contents that that one. Okay, and that db has the same contents that that db that one, and the same case for the rebase database for IPv6. But there should be a difference. What is the difference? Uh, for the external view and the internal view. The difference is the following. Access to this file, that long file. Okay, to this file. You have a uh, DNS server and the IP address. In my case, it's a private address because this is an example. But uh, this uh, This uh, should be a public IP address. The same case for mail and the same case for the web server. Also on IPv6. On IPv6, uh, th these are global unicast addresses and all are public. 
Okay, so these three addresses should be uh, public IP addresses. But maybe remember this file dot com dot lang is used in the internal view, and maybe you need uh, to create uh, more uh, more records for the internal network. For example, I key to insert, and you will have more records. For example, client one, internet, a. For example, uh, IPv6. And A2, 168, 1, uh, 35. For example, printer, printer 1, internal. The record. Uh, for example, uh, 36. For example, the access point number one. And we'll have this IP address. Okay, also on IPv6, escape key, B for visual mode, copy this with uh, Y, Y key. Then use P key to paste P I key to insert and the client one print one access point one and also for IPv6 addresses. Ready. Okay. This uh, the the DNS, the mail server and web server on IPv4 and on IPv6 DNS mail and web server. They are created to be used in the internal network and uh, also in the external network. But this this client, this printer, this access point on IPv4 and on IPv6, they are created for only use, for only to be used in the internal network. Save this file, escape key, column WQ, go to the inverse, the reverse on that DB. Enter and create the same records, but for the reverse. Okay. I key to insert, uh, escape key, uh, visual mode, B. Select this, Y. I key to insert, uh, enter, enter, escape key, and P to paste. I key to insert 35, 36, 37. Client one, print one, and access point one. That at the end, don't forget that. Now you have the reverse for the clients for the client, the print uh, access point on IPv4, escape key, column WQ, and also for IPv6, zero dot top, okay, dot DB, enter, okay, place uh, here, B for visual mode, select this Y key, Y, uh, I key to insert, then under render escape key P to paste. And I key to insert. This is 35, 0, 0, 35. This is 0, 0, 30, 
six and zero zero thirty seven. Okay, remember 35, 36, and 37, but in the inverse. Here are the names client print access point. That at the end, and very good. Escape key, column, W key. Now, access to the that one file because for the for the external view. This file for the external view that one will have all the records for the servers or for the computers or for the machines that you want to share to the external network. And this file will not include the records for the clients, printers, or any other machine that that you don't want to share this for the external network. Okay, escape key. Escape column queue. And access to that LAN file. Okay, the difference is on the external on the external view you will not share these internal machines okay this is the only difference and that's it restart the server system cdl restart name the enter review the status uh, status okay, active and running no errors no warnings q so pinggoogle.com success this is ipv6 ipv4 Ping the DNS server. Success. Use uh, IPv4. Very nice. All is working very well. The web server. for IPv4. Very nice. Test the reverse on for NS lookup 192.168.1235. Okay, is the DNS. All is working very well. And and also the IPv6 Okay, is the DNS also for IPv6. Very nice, all is working very well. Now create the slave and uh, you need another another machine with CentOS 8 okay this is the slave the 236 
the master is 235 and the slave 236. Super user dash, enter the root password. Now you are on the super user and uh, install bind. DNF install bind and bind utils dash utils. Yes. Yes. Very nice. Complete and verify the IP address. IP address. This is the IP address 236 on IPv4 and 236 on IPv6. Um, verify the uh, world manager command line interface and device show ENS33. This this adapter enter IPv4, IPv6. The, the DNS uh, servers for IPv4 are for the my ISP Internet Service Provider and also for IPv6 for the ISP. I will change later this to you need to change this to to use the bot servers, the master and slave, or the primary and the secondary. Okay, remember you are on the slave and change this. Connection modify DNS thirty three IPv four that DNS. So we use two IP addresses: the master two thirty five and the slave that one two thirty six. Enter. And for IPv six. Master column column and the slide and Then verify. Uh, uh, you need to apply changes right starting the network. Connection down. Then the woman here, CLI. Connection up EMS UV3. And the, very nice. Now verify. Okay. These two servers for IPv4 and these two servers for IPv6. Also change on the master. This is the master. Okay. I have only one server at the secondary uh, for IPv4 and IPv6. Connection. Modify ENS, ENS33. 
IPv4 DNS, and 921685 and 1A2168.236. For IPv6, IPv6 DNS, column, column, secondary or slave column column okay the master and slave the primary and secondary and down to restart this interface ns33 semicolon connection up very nice then verify now you have for dns the master and slave um, ipv6 master and slave Okay, now you are on the server to modify the modify the file. Use bin to modify. Let's see. Name it that conf. Enter. Up here, um, allow transfer to transfer zones at the IP address for the, the slave for the secondary IPv4 and IPv6. I key to insert my 2168.1.236 semicolon and the IPv6 address. Two through the six semicolon, don't forget that. Down here and the uh, internal view um, forward database or direct database. You can add the also notify I key to insert uh, other also notify and the uh, IPv4 and IPv6 addresses for the slide. Semicolon. semicolon okay um, also for the reverse zones for IPv4 and IPv6 escape key shift Y to copy this line shift Y Shift paste, Shift P to paste. I key to insert. Okay. Also notify. Will notify the slave when the master son is reloaded. Okay, that is enough. Escape key, column, WQ. And access to the bar, name it. Teach emergent that lang. Access to all sounds, all file sounds, and add the new DNS.
Okay, add the new DNS on, on this on this on on this file zone. I key to insert escape key visual young y I key to insert enter escape key paste I key to insert modify this DNS two thirty six Shift Y, Shift P, I key to insert, modify DNS2 to 36 or IPv6. Shift Y, Shift P, I key to insert, DNS2 to 36. Escape key, colon WQ, one, The inverse for IPv4. Ready. That one Ready. Enter. IPv6. That DB. Six. DNS2, escape key, colon WQ, and that one, I get to insert, uh, sorry. Six, DNS2, escape key, colon WQ. Now go to slide. This is a slide to thirty six. This is the slide. Review the following directory LS bar name it. And you have a directory called slaves. 
when you transfer files, uh, some files from master to slave, we'll replace it on this directory slaves. So review that slaves and no files for now. But you will have the, some files here later. Now, uh, I did uh, create a backup for the bar. Uh, sorry, let's see, name it dot conf let's see name it dot conf dot origin mm, modified name it dot conf I key to insert do the same configurations like the master okay here the master, the slave, and here the master. Access the same file on the master. Let's see, name it dot conf. Uh, okay, uh, modify the slave at the access list. Here, uh, listen on IPv4, any, on IPv6, any, the directory bar name it, allow query for local host and internal network. Okay. Do not use the IO transfer statement because this is on a slave. Recursion, yes. Now create the internal view, something similar like the master server. Enter, enter a command, internal network view is internal. Open, close, semicolon, and the render. I'm sorry. Um, at hierarchy. Include this, these two files. And close here. Semicolon. Opens here and close down here. Okay, uh, enter, enter, match clients, local hosts, internal network
dispatch clients localhost internal network. Down here at the the sounds for what database. Type slate in the file will be use the same name like the server, the same, uh, but remember on the uh, slaves directory. Slaves and the uh, same name like the server. Masters. The IP address of the master. Enter. Notify now. Now create the, another two songs for the reverse IPv4 and IPv6 addresses. I key to insert the same name for the song. But on the directory, use the and the slaves directory use the same file like the server. Okay, the slaves directory. The master is the same, notify now. And for IPv6. IP six dot ARPA type slave 
the file on the slaves directory Masters, the same masters, the master server IP address notifier. I'm ready. They add some comments. Reverse database, reverse database for IPv6, okay, this is the internal view for the slide. The internal view opens here and close here. Match clients, same configuration as the master, but the difference, uh, use the same name for the songs, type is slave, this is the difference, and the file is the same, but should be placed on slaves directory masters the ip addresses for master and notify now the same case for the another the same case for the another sons now create the external view Okay, create some something similar. I will copy this. I will copy the internal view and modify why. I get to insert, enter, enter, escape, P to paste. Then modify this. The view should be I get to insert external match clients any. Hello, query, any, semicolon, semicolon. Recursion, no. Remove this on. Forward database is the same name, type slave, the file on the slave directory, but the file should be one, no lang, one. Masters notify. For the reverse, use the same 
same name for the song, type master, and the file would be that one. Master is not defined. The song for IPv6, reverse IPv6. Type slave, file, slave, dot, one. Masters, notify, no. Uh, remove this, this flag, this, these zones. Do not include these files, these zones. And that's it. Now this uh, this is the external view. Add a comment here, for example. External network. Very nice. Now this is the internal view. Match clients, this on the three three songs include these two files, close the internal view. Now the external view, match clients, allow query, recursion now. Forward database, reverse database, reverse database for IPv6 and finish. That's it. This is the slave. Okay. Escape key colon W key. Now restart the slave system CTL re, restart name it enter. Review the status. Status. Okay. Uh, go to master escape key Q restart the, the server system CTL. Restart the master server. System CTL restart. Name it. Enter. Review the status. Okay. Mm. Q. Active and running. Go to slave. Review this file, this directory. Bar name it slaves. Now you have uh, two inverse databases. Okay, restart again. Review the status. Okay, Q. Okay, I have only the the two reverse databases for IPv4. Okay, review again the let's see name it that confi. Okay, here is slaves. Okay, this is a, an error. Slaves, down here, slaves. Also up here, slaves, slaves. And very nice, that was very crazy, but now it's fixed. Escape key, column WQ, restart the, the slave. System CTL restart. To certify, restart. Review the status. Okay, notifiers, notifiers, Q. To 36. Review the status. 
Okay, no errors, no problems. Q, then review again the bar name at the slaves directory. Now you have the six files. Okay, from the slave ping google.com. Success. Use IPv4. Success. Uh, use the host to verify. For example, DNS one that that okay, but use the use the master okay. The master says uh, DNS one has two IP addresses, but also use the slave. And the slave says, the slave says, uh, also, DNS1 have two addresses. Um, triple W1, for example. But ask to the slave. The slave says, is the, it has to to IP before addresses. Uh, it has two IP addresses. Go to Slave and verify the firewall status system CTL. Status firewall D active and running. So CMD, uh, sorry, firewall CMD dash dash add service equal to DNS permanent enter reload to apply changes reload the firewall success then verify list all DNS permitted now go to client and repeat the test And as look up google.com to the master, very good, and to the slide, very good. DNS ask to the master and DNS to the slide. Enter. Very nice. Think google.com. Enter. Very nice. But the real task is when you shut down the master. Shut down option halt now. Ping google.com, very nice. Cisco.com. Very nice. Yahoo.com. Very good. Maybe before. Ping my web server. <coughs> On IPv4, very good. On IPv6, very nice. Enter to web page. Very good. NS lookup, cisco.com, enter. 
okay it's trying to use the master 235 because this server is power off so make the ns lookup with the slave and it's very good when the master is not available, the, sla the slave takes place. That is very simple. Any configuration on the master should be notified to the slave. Any modification, any update on the master should be uh, notified to the slave. 